Some of my patients come up to me and ask if gum disease automatically means that they will need to have periodontal surgery. Hi, I'm Dr. Kaz Zymantis here at Premier Dental Center, just two blocks east of Naperville North High School on Ogden Avenue here in beautiful Naperville, Illinois. Gum disease is usually broken down into two states of the disease, gingivitis and periodontitis or periodontal disease. Let's discuss the causes of periodontal disease and what can be done to control it. Gum disease starts when bacteria stick to a film on your teeth and begin to grow families. This sticky film with bacteria is called plaque. These germs give off poisons that create an infection in your gums. When the plaque has not been disturbed for a certain amount of time, your body begins to think that your tooth is a foreign object. Your body is literally trying to get rid of your teeth. Gingivitis is the first stage of gum disease. Gingivitis is present when only the soft tissues are involved. The gums may be red and swollen and can bleed quite easily when probed. Gingivitis can usually be treated by having a good hygiene appointment with a doctor or hygienist and by learning how to properly use brushes, floss, and possibly other devices to disturb the plaque on the teeth. Left untreated, the process of infection then usually progresses to become periodontal disease. When one has periodontal disease, the gums by the teeth begin to peel away from the tooth. The pockets open up and bacteria go deeper onto the root and begin to cause bone loss. When the pockets get too deep, one cannot clean the root surfaces properly and the infection progresses until all of the bone is resorbed from around the teeth and the teeth need to be extracted or they just fall out. Most patients with periodontal disease do not have any pain associated with the disease. The gums become much more swollen and red and often there is pus oozing up from the deep pockets. The pus is because of the severe infection. Sometimes the smell from the pus can create very, very bad breath. Recent science papers have shown just how serious an infection periodontal disease can be. The infection is really just one big pussy sore with a total area of about the quarter of the size of the palm of your hand. This infection gets distributed to the bloodstream by the excellent blood supply in your mouth. The infection goes to the liver and makes new infection factors called C-reactive proteins. These C-reactive proteins then go through your entire body and begin to destroy many of the systems. You have a greater risk of developing heart disease, strokes, cancer, and numerous other problems because of these elevated C-reactive proteins. These proteins also reduce the effectiveness of your immune system. The flu season is coming up and you have a greater chance of developing the flu if you have periodontal disease. Patients with this disease may need surgical treatment if there is too much bone loss. The objective of the surgery is to be able to have the patient get access to the roots to get rid of the plaque. Gum disease is very preventable and the longer a patient waits to get help, the more bone loss occurs. So there you have it, the causes and the cures for periodontal disease. Early gingivitis can be controlled with rather simple therapy, but if you wait too long, you may develop a periodontal disease and then need further surgical treatment to correct and control the problem. In the whole field of medicine, there is no other problem that can be prevented as easily as dental problems. Our motto here at dental, Premier Dental Center is, let's take care of little problems before they become big. I hope this video has been of help to you. There is more information and videos at the site listed below or just call at the number listed below. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.